Okay, it's six o'clock. I'd like to open the meeting. Um, and I have one adjustment to the agenda. Um, Laura has asked that we discuss um, her attending a couple of VLCT workshops, um, one for municipal budgeting and, and then um, another for the VLCT town fair uh, accompanying Brandy. Um, so, um, one question, is, municipal budgeting, are you working with Brandy or are you looking to sub for her or is there any special reason you want to? It's not just the municipal budgeting, that is one of the things, but okay. the other part of it is that the select board has to, well, doesn't have to, they ask about whether or not the board has attended any kind of educational anything yep. to help with anything they have to work on throughout the year. Mm -hmm. And usually there isn't much attendance from you guys and because of so the you count. Board secretary. Yeah. Not, she's our, she's our squad <laughs> ass assistant also. Yeah. She's a okay. four hours a week, does select board okay. Okay. work. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's personally good for me as well on a personal level because I'm pursuing a county degree. Yeah. So the more information I understand about budgeting, you know, it may be useful in the future here for that as well. But yeah. also I can bring back information, mm -hmm. you know, any changes to the laws or any of that stuff that you guys might miss not, not yeah. being there. Right. Mm -hmm. I have attended it once when I, early in my select board days and it sounds like it's pretty much the same thing and I, I would go again because I really would like to kind of resolve this reserve fund question that you know we kind of go around and around yeah. the loop on um, but I'll um, I might send Laura with that question yeah. and, and um, uh, pursue it with the LCT in my own time but yeah I don't have a problem with it yeah. so I guess we'd make a motion that we approve the funding to yeah. send Laura yeah. to the um, second okay. on the favor that know Aye. stuff the better yep. 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 Um, public comment. I, I have a public comment um, as the default health officer in town. Um, I just wanted to state that there has been a, um, a bloom of cyano, cyanobacteria, blue-green algae on really? East Long Pond and Nichols Pond. Not a serious high alert bloom, mm -hmm. but uh, obvious presence of the, um, of the bloom, you know. So there are um, warning signs, uh, health alert signs that have been posted um, on the roads into the camps on East Long and um, posted on the dam at Nichols, probably lasted about a half hour on the dam. <laughs> um, yeah. And then um, shortly, maybe in another week or so, when, um, when we see signs that the bloom is pretty much um, gone away, we'll be sampling the water um, for toxins. Um, yeah. Yeah. So somebody from the state come out to sample. They gave. I have a sample kit. Oh. And, okay. um, but they can't be high phosphorus levels in those lakes. Well, you know, it's it's puzzling that you know all of the other none of the other other ponds. lakes and ponds have it that I know of, um, no and they're much there. shallower. They're much more. They're more wow. camps. I saw your email. I couldn't understand it. I yeah, I don't understand it either. I was thinking that Buck Lake was high phosphorus for some reason. One of these small lakes has got a lot of phosphorus. Well, Cranberry, Cranberry Meadow Pond two no or three years ago no had a blue-green algae out, um, yeah. blue, but again, not serious. The only reason I'm asking is that they've always attributed it to high phosphorus, but yeah. right. now I, we can't have high phosphorus here. There's no fire, there's no, yeah. not right. enough Both in infrastructure here to do it, what, I, I think. One thing that did happen, at least from East Long to Nichols, is that um, that May, end of May flooding, that with village flooding, there was a significant chunk of a bank below the dam at East Long that washed into the brook. Mm. Um, I have a camp right on the mouth of the brook from East Long um, on Nichols and there's this huge beautiful delta of sand now and that wasn't used to, be there. used to be there. So that could have been, you know, for Nichols that would have been a good <coughs> input of phosphorus. Um, yeah. in May. Um, Definitely not an expert. Time. but yeah. yeah. East Long I have I don't, I don't know what happened up there. But yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I remember seeing it once or twice in my mm -hmm. term of one mm -hmm. lake just having these weird high numbers for no yeah. reason at all. Yeah. Yeah. The, you know, lakes the, that didn't have camps on them. And yeah. Stuff, yeah. Yeah. The state person said that you know every body of water has blue green algae in it, mm -hmm. but it's certain conditions that allow uh, a bloom to happen. Um, yeah. So. Anyway, that's being being watched, and um, did the best I could to notify people. Um, so that's uh, public comment. Um, I would make a motion that we approve the bills to the town. 
Second. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And then I would make a motion that we approve the minutes uh, from the Second. August 12th select board meeting. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So we'll sign them on a the dotted line. And Um, let's see, today is 26. I always write the date where you're supposed to write a food. <laughs> Consistency is the key. Yeah. Okay, so that we can stand. Yes, she's got Randy, are you ready to come in or should we go on to something else? Well, we got dog licenses before Brandy anyway. Okay. Yeah, dog warrants first. Dog warrants at first. Right, that's right. I forgot. Yeah. So, let's see. So you're off the hook for a minute. Yeah, you got a minute. Yeah, you probably a few, actually. So you got the floor, Kim. Yep. It's all yours. <coughs> Thank you. Um, all of you have a list of... Um, dogs who were registered last year that hasn't registered this year. Um, the state requires them to be registered by 30 April. The state gives them until like May before a list is sent to you guys. And it's almost September before I start getting involved with it. Uh, typically I visit and speak to the owner or at the very least leave a note um, on their door that I was there and why I was there um, and I try to uh, go a minimum of three times wow. and um, we still not get in somewhere with some of these places um, Last year we did issue a warrant. It was a very specific warrant. Mm -hmm. um, and within 48 hours the owner had registered the dog. Mm -hmm. I would request that the town do that again. And the way it would work is I would submit a list of names and addresses mm -hmm. um, to the town for them to um, yes, that and yeah. some that are not listed on there mm -hmm. oh. um, for the town to write up the warrant and I would request that maybe you authorize Brian to sign the warrant mm -hmm. uh, just so that I don't have to go tracking down select boards. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Last time I think it was the chair who did it. Um, yeah. Yep, yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, and th this list is not all inclusive. To give you an example, you, you guys know how long Buck Lake is. The road. The road, yeah. And within 2,000 feet, mm -hmm. there was only two dogs out of nine registered. Mm -hmm. So you're looking at only about 20% of the residents registering the dog in a very short in that uh, area, particular in that situation. particular area. But yeah. you know, um, we haven't even begun to really address Westwood because it's so far and, mm -hmm. and difficult. But you know, you've got um, North Hill, Bliss Road. You know, you got some of these roads that's. Um, Cabot's got some still on it that, you know. Mm -hmm. So there, there is a certain amount of people that are not inclined to follow the law in that they don't think it's the town business to be in there. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. Do you, so do you want this letter to be a warning that a warrant will be issued if they don't register their dog? Um, or? No, I want the actual warrant. Okay. They've had plenty of time to register and come in and... Well, Jiminy Crickets, they, yeah. they've had until April 30th. Mm -hmm. The town has sent how many letters? Two, Two letters to everybody on the list. Okay. 
Yeah, um, 10 for a warrant. Your, 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 what does the warrant say? The, what the warrant says is that I am authorized to basically seize the dog at a specific address for not having the dog registered in accordance with blah, 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 blah. That's what the law says. Yeah. So is there a warrant, kind of like a template? There is. And she has it and she's familiar with it because she's the one who did up the last one, I believe. Yep. Okay. So, right. um, and on top of all that, you had me going there three times at least right. and either speaking to the individual mm -hmm. Or, or, leaving a or leaving a note saying, hey, I'm here about an unregistered dog. Here's my phone number. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, do these have, should these be sent like registered mail? Um, typically what happened, or what we did in the past, was a natural warrant. I, and this is, again, why it's, it's time consuming, is I, I got to uh, link up deliver? with the state police. Yeah. And we got to go to the house and the person's got to be in there, and here's your warrant. Thank you for the dog. So you deliver the warrant and you seize the dog? Seize the, the dog same. at the same time. It's a warrant to arrest, basically. Well, what are you going to do with all these dogs? Hmm? What are you going to do with all these dogs? Same thing we've been doing in the past. Um, they, they go to the kennel, depending on the nature of the thing. Um, we've had one where the owner got the dog registered the next day, and um, this town let me know about it, and the guy came and got his dog. The other one, the guy had to go to Hardwick, pay the veterinarian for the shots, mm -hmm. then I had to transport the dogs to the uh, vet's office, get the shots, bring them back to the kennel, notified the owner that the paperwork was down at the town clerk's office vaccination and then they came down here and registered the dogs the third option is again depending on vaccinations um, is to keep the dog in for 10 days and then surrender it to the humane society if the owner has not claimed the dog within 10 days it's automatic abandonment now the one over on greenwood lake road you obviously didn't seize that one the first time you were over there was that just because you couldn't get a hold of them or you gave them multiple opportunities i gave them multiple opportunities and um so i think you know first trip of you visiting them they probably shouldn't lose their dog it, oh no no yeah. I, well first of all yeah. they've already had Three trips. Well, they've all, well, they've had three trips that I had. Yeah. So okay. you've been out to all these places three times already. Not all of them. Okay. That's why uh, I said I will submit a yeah. list to the one to the town clerk of the ones that I have been okay. to. Okay. So this would be three a three times. Yeah. Yeah. Do you yeah. have Do you have a rough idea of how many homes households that number is that you've been three times? Um, right now, I'm looking at three to five homes. Okay. Um, some I've been to once, and I got to go two more times. Uh, some I've already been twice, mm -hmm. and the owner left notices. And the owner has not contacted me, nor has the owner done it. And have, have these people been warned about what the non-compliance would um, do? They know that uh, uh, ignorance of the law is. You sent excuse. the letter, right? I, I know, I know that's true, letter. Kim, but. If, if, I, if I leave a notice saying that they're there, I'm here to, you know, because of your dog not being registered and the person doesn't get a hold of me, you know, at what point, you know, people are, yeah. um, can avoid me by just not answering the right. door. People can avoid me by not being there when they suspect I might be around. Um, I, I People would, have come right out and lied to me. <laughs> you know, I'm sure you get you know? the gamut. But it sounds like the letter had the has consequences the, on it. So you, it you does. also have the power to issue fines instead of just seeing <clears throat> them first. You could also right. issue them an actual ticket through the ju judicial bureau. Right. Who can write those? I can. Well, you can't write them. But we sure. went down that road before. Right. Yeah. We know the problems with that. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. You got to go to court. Yeah. You got the same thing with my fire warden tickets. Is yeah, and it's hard to get the actual.
natural correct information if the person doesn't right. volunteer. And if you don't have the correct information, then the, right, it's the fine is worthless. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember all of that from. Yeah. Yeah, it just seems kind of drastic to show up with the state police and <laughs> take some of these dogs away. I'm afraid somebody might get really mad. And well, we had that one guy, he was pretty tick. But, um, him get, he was when, shot. Well, that's, when, that's kind of what when, I'm thinking, actually. There's two uh, police officers on the scene. <coughs> um, there was no interreacting adversely, and the owner did register the dog in, within yeah. 48 hours, which is the ultimate goal. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm just thinking if like the third, this is kind of hindsight now, but if the third visit, if, if there was just a change in the wording that's saying, you know, we have, we have contacted and notified you three times, and um, the next time that we come, you know, if you don't comply, then um, we will be issuing a warrant and returning to seize the dogs. If well, I can, something like I can that, do, if you'd be willing to draw up a card kind of like what we have yeah. with that on it okay, on so the third sure one the yeah I can yeah. put it on the door you yeah know, no, I, like I, having I, color coded to yeah. me just just in the Plain, orange proper I mean yeah feel that would feel more right yeah, to me the last just, shot you know, last third last, visit uh, yeah. back into the door so no next more extra visits come. just staple right. that to the house and the, the a registered letter the state. So they have to sign for it so we know that they Yeah, we could, we could do well, that. Well, the fight then becomes they don't sign for the letter. Right, that's that's another yeah, that's way But of, you can try. Yeah. We, we went to that route. We hired this building, and yeah. they just didn't pick them up, and we ended up having the sheriff's department add an additional expense mm -hmm. to... Um, yeah, is the sheriff's issue, department uh, cheaper than the state police, or is it uh, Well, there's the some things the state police prefer to stay out of. It. Um, mm -hmm. I went around with, uh, I think, both the state police and the sheriff, and whatever reason. We so did, did they provide somebody to do that service? The sheriff department did um, collect the uh, no, the. As far as the, stuff, when you go to collect a dog, do the state police come with you? The state police comes with me, which is why it's it's time consuming because I've got to coordinate with them, with them. Okay, <laughs> and shift change overs and that and you're probably looking more in the evening so you're talking about the afternoon you know the evening shift yeah. mm -hmm. and um, because I work nights you're probably looking at you know Tuesday night Wednesday night Thursday nights mm -hmm. as the nights you know Mm -hmm. that, um, now, is there a fee charge from the state police for this that we have to add in, or no? No, nope. they just come out and go. Sheriff's charges. Sh Sheriff, I believe, charge state police. They're required to because it's just um, we're enforcing the state law. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, does that sound doable on your end to have this third warning that the next, you know, if you don't comply with this, then then you are forcing the town to issue you a warrant and to come and see and come and seize your dog. I mean, I got no problem with it because I'm going out three times anyway. So if right. wants to do it, like make a good a strong, color, here's, a good strong here's warning. The These the are the consequences. The yellow yeah. one. My Second, next, my next visit will be with the sheriff or the state police. Yeah, we'll, seize yeah. we'll seize it up. Yeah. 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 Bottom line, this is you know been out three times. Next so, but the four or five or six you have now, how do we want to address those? I, I, I would give them one more. Okay. If you can make well, up the same type of notice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and if you're if you're willing to do that, I mean, I just to give them that final strong warning. You know, you could. This is the fourth time I've been here, and if I have to come again, um, it'll be with a warrant to seize the dog. Well, I know on one person in particular, I won't mention the name, uh -huh. um, but there's a person on Route 14 that uh, last time we met, mm -hmm. after I had left here, I, I went to several houses, his mm -hmm. being one of them, and I said, you know, you need to get the dog registered by like, such, such date because I'm going to be going to the select board and I'm going to be issuing a warrant, mm -hmm. you know, requesting them to issue a warrant <laughs> to seize dogs. Mm -hmm. You know, and so you, he, he still hasn't person. done it. He still okay. hasn't done so, it. And he, well, I he has let, multiple yeah. dogs. Yeah. I'm leaning toward if he's got five or so, mm -hmm. he should probably issue the warrants and see what happens with them. Okay. Just to not run Kim around. 
Right, yeah, that's why I'm wanting to make sure it's okay with him. Yeah. I do see the side having work in enforcement at my day job that if you don't, if you don't do it, I'll tell you again. Mm -hmm. yeah. It has to be frustrating for yeah. the person. Right. You know, there's, 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 a, you know, there's a couple of them, luckily, and, you know, that I've been to, mm -hmm. uh, some once, some multiple times. There's a couple on uh, Dog Pond Road um, that I've been to once, and, and I need to go a second time. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah. actually, there's three on Dog Pond, mm -hmm. you know, and one I have interacted with text, one I had been phys physically there, spoke to the person, and one I have been to his, their property and left a notice mm -hmm. of why I was there. Yeah. You know, so, there's five families right there, and, uh, you know, I got a couple up on uh, North Hill. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I think, you know, as Paul said, any of them that you have been to three times, and especially the one where you mentioned that, you know, them, that if they didn't comply, that you would be, the town would be issuing a warrant, um, you should probably go ahead and, and do that. And I'll go ahead and make a motion for that if it's all right. Sure. So I'll make a motion sure. that we issue the warrants on the dogs that you, the dogs that you issued the three warrants. Yes. Okay, I'll second that. And this, the second half of that motion would be the future third warning. We'll get a letter explaining, or a notice just explaining that what would happen next. And then you'll come back to us. Yeah, we're not coming back again warrants. to warn you. Nope. We're going right. to, next, next time we come back, we're taking them out. And probably, easy. so that makes sense in your second, yeah. So then just do it in little chunks, you know, we'll probably yeah. keep four or five at a time, because I hate to see out there doing 15 dog warrants. Right. Yeah, 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 no, no. Cattle truck full of dogs. I but there's, like a, there's a long enough list that you may want to be seeing us more than Well, I was less. wondering if I could, huh. if it would be possible to inter interact with Brian, because just because it's easier to track him down. <laughs> yeah. I know where he yeah. works. Well, do we have to approve the warnings at a, the warrants yes. at a meeting? No. We don't, okay. You, you've already given me permission. So now it's just a matter of the process of complying with your request, which is 304 visits, the last one being was a notice, and then once I've, I've complied that, then it would be coming to the town clerk and says, okay, just get the warrant. here's yep. the name, the address, the phone number of the person that I, person or persons I've been to, would you type up a warrant and have Brian sign them or let me know when it's done and I will take it to Brian to have him sign. And then I got to, once Brian signs it, then I got to um, coordinate with the state police. Yeah. Yeah. So far as you know, I don't, I don't have it, issues. It's, yeah, it's you know, you're talking week, two weeks, you know, process yeah. just, just to and go through it. And so basically, I guess for us, it, one signature is enough to send him yes. out. So whoever he catches we're, up, we're, yeah. Yeah. the select board will designate you as the signee on the warrant. Okay. okay. So. Um, <laughs> and, uh, see the one that we did last time. I know right here it is. Uh, sure. Sure. And I will check with VLC to make sure that we don't have to approve every single warrant in the select board. Yeah, and I just want to uh, go ahead. Sorry. No, I just want to make sure you don't go there alone on the dog no. seizure without police. If they aren't no. coming, you won't, you don't go. Because no. I don't, this should never arise. If violence starts to take place, they, you just need to leave yeah. <laughs> with the police. I don't yeah. want to see anybody yeah. getting violent. Some over. people, it we might can happen, see it. So yeah, it's yeah, no, definitely a possibility. Yeah. I mean, a good possibility. It's a very good possibility. I've had it with fires. Yeah. We get there and I just we have to step back and wait. Mm -hmm. State police to go in there, and, mm -hmm. but I've told okay. complainers yeah. before. I said, if we go in here with the police, this could get ugly. Mm -hmm. Do you want it to be ugly? How ugly do you want to get over a fire? <laughs> well, it's been my experience uh, was that that one, you, you got it gets quite ugly on a one to one basis. Yeah, but when uh, two state troopers <coughs> show up at ten o'clock at night, banging on the door. Yeah. It's hard to. They come quite yeah. docile. Yeah. yeah. Especially in the state, each are there. Yeah. But I, I will check with, just for my own peace yeah. of mind, I'll check with VLC to make sure that, I mean, maybe our motions should um, 
we could state that um, that we um, are approving that our animal control officer issue warrants um, after three warnings and that we designate Brian as the um, Select board signee, because uh, I know the select board yeah. does need to, to. It's actually the select board that's issued an award yes. here through you. Um, and I, you know, based on the last warrant that we issued, um, the state police did research the, the law, and, mm -hmm. and the law was quite clear. And the uh, state police, you know, made it perfectly clear to the owner that mm -hmm. they had. Research it. This is mm -hmm. in fact mm -hmm. legit, and yeah, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you do you keep a log of the visits, and so that you have documentation that way. You wouldn't believe it. I got it. That's how I get paid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, unfortunately, you keep a log. Good plan. You know, I. You know, you guys don't pay me just on uh, my say so. You know, okay. I've got to put down uh, the date, the time. Okay. Um, yeah. The yeah. number of hours, the mileage. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 So we have a motion, and uh, I'll second it. Um, okay. Or did you already second it? He already said okay. it. Okay. second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. In favor of it. <laughs> we approved it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. So I will get with you. And Laura will be our official uh, overseer of uh, the process. When are you going to be here? I will be here Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday and Thursday? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll stop in and you know, see you and see what we're at as far as the <coughs> color codes and the language. Yeah, the yeah, third letter, yep. Make it make it good and strong. I mean, just nice, strongly worded to say. Our next visit will be coming with a warrant to collect your hat. Yeah, with a warrant and the state police. And give them a rough idea of what the cost will be <coughs> if you have to come out with the state police and they get impounded. So maybe that's what will. That would help. Money, money does. Help. Yeah, it's it's gonna gonna what's the licensing yeah. fee? Twenty bucks. Well, eleven if they're spayed or neutered. And they're late. Not even so, but it could be if they're not spent. And then they have to pay for the kennel time. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what could it run if ten, you uh, had like a ten dollars a day? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is what is there a fee for you going and getting it to Oh well, yeah, so? because mm, that's yeah. that's my hours. That's yeah. my hours. So roughly what would it cost somebody that you had to go seize their dog and bring back and keep for three well, days? If, well if okay, so you're talking for Seventeen dollars. If they're not neutered. Seventeen dollars for the not neuter, and um, usually an hour. That's that's another ten bucks. So that's twenty-seven mileage. You know, at least you know four to five miles. So you're talking five a couple hours. dollars, and mm -hmm. then ten dollars a day for three days. So and that's thirty dollars. And on top of that. If you want to go in and says you, because I've done this when I've talked to people, I says if I wanted to, mm -hmm. I could issue you a ticket right. for X number of dollars mm -hmm. per dog per incident. If you don't have the dog registered, if you have three dogs, you know, that's three counts of not having the dog registered at $50 a pop. That's $150 right there. Mm -hmm. Because your dog isn't registered, it's not wearing a tag, which is another fine yeah. of um, $150 whatever dollars. Mm -hmm. And then there's also, so you're up to $300 dollars there and you can also tap on another charge of when they're not having the dog under control when not on the property which is another you know fifty sixty dollars so you're you're looking at three hundred four hundred fifty five hundred something five hundred plus dollars right and then also um you bring it to a kennel and if they don't Claim the dog within ten days. It gets sent to the humane society. It's turned over to the humane society. Might State law specifies that if the owner does not claim his dog within ten days, it's considered abandonment. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, you could mention all the fines, but I mean, by then you've totally overwhelmed the person, yeah. and they may be something short and sweet. Yeah. Well, that's why I said, you know, you can just say you're responsible for repaying all the costs yeah. associated yeah. with it. You could put something and say that you know, like the cost, you know, can exceed over five hundred dollars. You know, right. if the town chooses, we could. Yeah. I might make them run right down here the next day and pay their. Yeah, well, we've had, the heck with it. You can have we've the had three or four yeah. that showed up. Um, mm -hmm. Well, it worked on County Road up by Green Lake. Yeah, yeah. that worked. And yeah, the one on Buck, Buck Lake. Lake that had been three years not registering. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. came in the other day. Uh -huh. yeah. Within so, a day or two. A couple days yeah. in there. Yeah. Was that the problem dogs that yes. you mentioned? <laughs> yeah, okay. and um, you know, mm -hmm. there's. Like I said, there's at least nine dogs on Buck Lake, yeah. and at the time I started, there was only two registered. Mm -hmm. yeah. It sounds like you're going to be busy. I wonder if we should put something out on front porch forum saying that there is going to be an initiative to really okay. act out. Can't hurt. Yeah, the more yeah. information. The, yeah. I see yours posted. You know about yeah. the algae bloom right. and yeah. you know that so people do see them and read them yeah, yeah people know yeah that's our best way of communicating i think with mm -hmm. people in town it seems mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. have i chewed up enough of your time today we're good <laughs> <laughs> great thanks for yeah, coming thanks thank you. thank you thanks for doing this thankless work <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're getting thanked <laughs> I'd give you a cookie if you had one. Now it's the treasurer's report. Yes, let's see if Randy is ready. There she is right here. Oh, she was listening. listening. <laughs> and Laura, thank you for assisting with yes, all of that. You. So there was no transfer needed. Um, so in the last two weeks, we took in $5,513.47 in delinquencies. And other income for the current property taxes, we took in 54000 Five hundred ninety-seven dollars and ninety-four cents. So that's starting to real land. Yes. Um, land records recording three hundred and sixty-three dollars. Copies fifty-eight. Marriage license eighty dollars. Um, mm -hmm. Other income. Um, how's our How's our standing with the out, um, the outstanding delinquent taxes compared to? times in the past, just kind of a rough idea. Are we doing... I'd have to do a report. I haven't... Report. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm just curious to know. It seems like it's coming in pretty well. Ron's pretty doing a really good job was, of collecting. Last year was uh, quite a bit less than the previous year. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he seems to have a method that works. Yeah. So due to, due from the last page, um, I did take in, there was a lot uh, more payments, tax payments, over the weekend, so mm -hmm. I have not done that deposit. Mm -hmm. um, I was hoping that with that one that I could pay off the tax anticipation loan. Mm -hmm. um, sooner. And, right. and, um, but not quite yet. Quite well, yet. no, once I do this deposit, everything's clear to the bank, mm -hmm. give it three, four days, mm -hmm. um, and then I'd like to come back and pay it off. Mm -hmm. And it'll have to be a check to show in our records mm -hmm. to offset um, our liabilities, yeah. showing that we own it, mm -hmm. owe it. Um, mm -hmm. Other things, we meet with Rhonda Bennett tomorrow. Right. Tomorrow? That was Wednesday. On Tuesday. Wasn't it Tuesday? I think it's Wednesday, 11 a.m. Let me check. Okay. 
That's, That's my memory. Tuesday in my head. Yeah, well, my you know my memory is not so great either. So today's <laughs> not Tuesday. Right. right here. <laughs> my memory is um, Wednesday at 11 a.m. because I remember we talked. I had the Cabot Road meeting in the morning, and there was so we checked. You know, we checked with each other on the time day? later on that okay. day. Yeah. So, um, that's how I remember. I'll fill you guys in on that when, when, when we get there. But. So I posted on Front Porch Forum today, um, just alone today. Last week was probably around, on Thursday, seven envelopes. So I've never had so many return address. There's uh, no sender. Mm -hmm. And the well, only way for me to know mm -hmm. that you have an address change is if you tell me. Mm -hmm. um, Are those local, local returns? You know, people that have a local With address? Some, and some, some. are not. So, so, so some the people ones won't see the front porch I'll be Googling them. crazily to tomorrow, yeah. trying to make sure they get their tax bill, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. on time. But, um, yeah, so mm -hmm. it's getting frustrating at this point. Mm -hmm. yeah. But um, So those that do get returned, and then you have to find them and send them the out. The only is thing there, I do is, is find Google or find neighbors that know how to contact yeah. them yeah. by phone. Yeah. Um, but yet, I mean, as it goes on, they're not going to have a 60 days warning. Right. And right. I have the letter mail. stating that it mm -hmm. was mailed mm -hmm. and returned. It's really on them to give us a change. Right, it's and up to them. Yeah. Um, Taxes I don't still want anybody to go delinquent yeah. because of yeah. a simple thing that they didn't forward, forward the address. Yeah. Come October. Uh, that's, where's my bill? That sounds like so it's me a, chasing a down. bit of work, yeah. Because some people don't even have landline phones. You, you right. just don't know how to get a hold of them. Right. So I put that out there and hopefully it reaches enough people, mm -hmm. but yeah, I'll be trying to contact neighbors of mm -hmm. the locations of the land if anybody, yeah. some, if they don't live in state, then they have the neighbors keep an eye on their land and mm -hmm. then I get it that way. But, mm -hmm. but yeah, and I wish that it was mandatory for the Lister card right. that we have telephone numbers. <laughs> yeah, but I found the same thing when I'm trying to find it. Get in touch with a landowner, and I, you know, I use the Lister records and his mailing address. And sometimes right. you can call, and get a phone number, but often these days they Nothing they don't there. have a landline. And, um, there's no yeah. cell phone. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I'll be doing a big deposit tomorrow, and then um, see where I'm at. And if I'm, because right now I have in the checking, there's forty-seven thousand. So I'm sure um, yeah. with just the deposit I took in and the more that I grabbed from the post office tonight that I should have enough mm -hmm. to do that, um, to eliminate that and get it to the smallest possibility of, mm -hmm. of interest and get that out of here. Yeah, agreed. So I'm just wondering, while you're right here, mm -hmm. um, we could talk about, there's a couple things under the town highway report, whether mm -hmm. it's some, some of the money things. Yep. Um, so um, Brandy had just mentioned that um, we've scheduled a meeting with the Union Bank for this Wednesday, I think, okay. at 11 a.m. to talk about um, loan, uh, loan financing for the Burmer and the Moore attachment. So we'll need to talk more about that, whether okay. we actually want to do that. And then also for the financing of the replacement of the 2013 truck, I spoke with Sandy Ladd last week and have a you know just kind of confirmed the time. Yes, I saw that updated quote with yeah. the trade-in. Yeah. Yeah. So and let me just so what we would do um, with the truck. This is mo mostly for Brandy's knowledge. Um, um, is that um, and I have paperwork from him. You know, we would make a commitment soon maybe hopefully tonight we would make a commitment on um, purchasing the cabin chassis a freightliner cabin chassis through charlevoix um, and this is for next fiscal year this is for next fiscal year. it would yeah. arrive next we'll, summer we'll make a commitment now because we've been told that in order to get a truck ready for not this winter but the following winter we sort of need to make a commitment as soon as possible because it takes over a year or more to get it mm -hmm. to get it Put together so we would just say yes we intend to purchase cabin chassis um, from shallow boys um, 
and the, the price that they've given us is a hundred and twenty one thousand um, dollars and they're giving us sixty thousand dollars trade-in for the 2013 so the 120 is with the body everything no no that's just the cabin, that's cabin, just chassis. cabin chassis the bot the body and the plows is another seventy one thousand dollars oh wow which we don't need to deal with right no, now. no no so um we would make the an, an intended commitment now um and then next summer, um, when the cabin chassis comes in, if we had the loan set for then, um, if we pay for it when it comes in, we don't, you know, if we pay for it when it comes in, we don't accrue interest on them having it right. on their lot. They would have paid for it and then they're right. charging we us interest. interest. We, if we can pay for it when it comes in, which is kind of right around that July 1st cash flow. Mm -hmm. So that if we works. had the loan, you know, the cash flow issue wouldn't be right. a problem. And then we would defer paying for it until the fall. So that's what you need to see if the Union Bank is willing. And I don't see do. a problem. No, they, they problem. allowed us to defer the Because the chassis problem. ends up being 66 or 7,000 dollars with yeah. the trade in and then another 70 or so yep. that we're going to have to do for the plows and yep. rain and some body and sander. So that's, that's one thing that we would be <coughs> talking with the Union Bank about on Wednesday. And you guys are welcome to come too. Yeah, I've got a meeting all day, yeah, unfortunately. Okay. I only have one meeting this week and it's Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then the other thing that we'll be talking with them about is uh, financing the what I call the Burmer and the mower attachment. And we'll talk more about that um, this evening by using um, the amount that we spend yearly for um, mowing, mowing yeah, the thousand, rental mower. Yeah. It's basically it, nine uh, forty five hundred dollars a year. It's um, yep. we we do a one year. It's this year it was thirty two hundred, yep. and so it was a little bit more than previous one year time and then the next year we keep it for two weeks and it's six thousand or maybe sixty four thousand this next year. So it's roughly forty five hundred dollars a year. That's the brush hog. That's for the that yeah. That's for what yeah, for the brush hog that we rent from yeah. Um, now this burmer won't do the same thing as the brush hog, obviously. No, no, they're no we different. need they're, they're two totally different. different. Yeah, yeah totally so different. this burmer is just going to deal with the ditch, yeah. and any brush the, uh, cutting is going to be done with 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 this flail. This flail mower is capable of doing both the mowing and the brush cutting, the tree cutting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And both of these tools are attachments that would go on two the tools cat that we got to buy to replace yeah. the other. Yeah. yeah. So um, and so basically, we wouldn't be adding to the yearly budget doing this. We would just be designating what we spend in rental for the mower mm -hmm. um, to make payments on um, on those two pieces of equipment. Sure. And, and we own them, so we could use them anytime. Whenever we right. wanted to, yeah. we yeah. could we could take some money from the her fund and, and make the payment. You know, put a, some money. Yeah, into that, yeah. if, if we, that's something yeah, that we need to decide yeah. also, or we could yeah. just leave so would the goal later. be to have those things by the spring? Or yes, the yeah. goal would be to have them by the spring. So that that loan would be a little bit sooner, um, and it would depend on if the Union Bank is okay with those you know those terms. Um, so we would actually make the purchases this winter, um, and then... Um, and I've given you the most recent quote I have. You have, so I have 17,000 in mind. Yeah, yeah. 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 delivery to you. Yeah. And, the, and the flail chopper, um, mower chopper is uh, just about $50,000 when you round it off. So, so it's, it's a chunk of money. So we have 22.6 in the HERF fund now. Yeah, and we may want to keep that money there. I mean, that's something for us to figure out. We have time to figure that out. Yeah. Um, but those are the two things that we would be discussing with the Union Bank. Um, and I know, Brian, you mentioned at the last meeting, well, maybe we should see if another bank would give us a better deal. Um, I, you know, if you would like to research that, I'm, I'm fine with just asking that question. I think the thing you know that what I... the percentage is there? It's like, well, it varies. It's, it's like depend. two, one to five to two point five, somewhere in that area. And they, they're doing municipal lending in it. With the fire department, we always end up back there. Right. We, we, the ones we, we have everything. We have everything there too. So it just yeah. it seems like we found a bank. Well, the municipal lending deal is pretty much the same everywhere. Right. Right. Every right. bank that does it, right. that's yeah, the, the issue. Same rate. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and this is a, a known 
entity for us. All our accounts are there. Yeah. So just to save you some time, I've been down the road. Yeah. Okay. You guys have looked around. Yeah. yeah. We couldn't do any better. We dealt with mm -hmm. leasing companies and I always ended up right back at yeah. Union Bank. It's usually where, where you have money. your main operating <coughs> account is where they can offer you the best. Yeah, because you're known to them. We don't, yeah. And, and we, you know, we had funded the other two 10-wheelers through Daimler, which is the big Mercedes-Benz, you know, they do a lot of financing of town equipment that way, but yeah. you actually got a better deal from, from the Union Bank, Bank. Yeah. Yeah. and we got less hassles. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it we was. Were, yeah, we were getting yeah. lots okay. of, you know, no, that's um, no problem. Yeah. so that's why we um, use the Union Bank for the local. So, yeah, so um, while we're, I guess while we're doing that, um, we'll pull, let's see. So this is the, the form that I got from, um, and we're kind of skirting around the purchasing policy too a little bit with this, you we're know, not we, going out to bid. we aren't going out to bid, it's we have sole, a sole source purchasing. Pretty, yeah, and we, you know, we have Charlevoix. They do all the maintenance work. They're the, they've been the best. I mean, when there's something broken down, they get on it, they fix yeah. it. And there's not a lot of sources for this. Well, that's what no. I'm saying. You've got, there's, there's sole source usually. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're kind of the only ones around. They're kind of the, the only ones around. The big yeah. ones that so. are close by, so. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the paper, I've only got one copy, but um, this is the paperwork that, um, Sandy I, said. I, I have it at home, so okay, I've seen yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I did a forward it yeah. to you guys. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, so we, you know, yeah, I'd say that too. Yeah. Okay. So um, I could make a motion that we commit to this um, particular purchase. Make away. All right. So <laughs> I, I would make a motion that we um, sign, I'm going to call it a, a letter of intent because um, we can back out on this if we. Mm -hmm. if we want to um, that we sign um, this uh, purchase uh, in intent agreement um, with Charlevoix um, for the purchase of uh, the uh, Freightliner uh, ten-wheeler replacement for the 2013 truck, um, and the purchase would be in the summer of 2020. Um, well, we would sign the letter of intent now in order to get on their list to order trucks. So Viking schedule. Yeah. Does and that they, also get us to Viking? It gets Viking's to, the big one. It gets us to Viking too, yeah. yeah. And it basically guarantees that we'll have a new 10-wheeler by the winter of 2020-21. Got it. Yeah. I'll yeah. second that. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So, um, because Vikings, the big delay there, in right. June. If yeah, you they, order today, you can't get in line to even get your stuff on until June because the chassis will take three months to arrive once they. Yeah. And there's yeah. work that gets done on the chassis once that arrives, and then yeah. they send it's it on to Viking. Okay. Um, just as a question, Laura, have you heard anything about something happening in the Southwood Bay Cemetery? A car rolled over. A car rolled over. I didn't hear I about it. Someone showed me a picture. Yeah, the state record. police were up there one and night. We didn't go up, so it must be nobody was injured. Somebody yeah. flipped a car. I saw a picture of it from the record oh, really? driver. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Patio didn't hear. I drove up and looked, and I see some marks up in there. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so nobody got called, so just the state yeah. police and the record department went there. Why away. Yeah. Uh, so this is 826. That was South Woodbury, so there's a scar up there on the dirt. <laughs> Okay, so I will. Um, You've had quite a few of those lately. You show up and ta da! Nobody there. They're gone. Had three wrecks in the last two weeks. And nobody around. I'll get this uh, to Sandy. <laughs> Disappear quick. I'm yep. Have to. <laughs> Makes your job a little easier, but for us, not the yeah. police. <laughs> True. People crashing their bicycles, doing all kinds of things. Then uh, another issue for further down the road is whether or not we want to do an extended warranty. Okay, um, we can we resolve that. It, yeah. Have we normally done the extended warranties think, on them? I think we have, but I'll, I'm not sh positive. So I, I guess, guess the next question <coughs> was, have we had to use our extended warranties in the past or yeah. not? We've had a five-year warranty, I know that, for the trucks. Um, yeah. And it did come in handy. Yeah. Um, 
and whether that I think, but that's I think that is an extended warranty. But I, I don't know the answer 100% for that. Um, so yeah. But Greg does, so I'll ask him that. Uh, yeah, I think uh, what did um, Sandy say would be an extra. Like, I can't remember what he said. I didn't write it down, unfortunately. Is there another? Let me just check my name here. That's the biggie. Do we get over the mileage so it's going to be an issue, or do we not hit the mileage factor, or, yeah. or the year factor? I said a good budget budget number for up to 84 months of coverage, which is, let's see, that's seven years actually, mm -hmm. yeah, would be $15,000. Um, so I, it probably, then my assumption is, is that it comes with a five year warranty. Okay, then you're bumping it up. Yeah, and that would bump it up another years. two years. And we've been keeping them eight years? Seven to eight years. Seven. 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 This will be a seven year seven. replacement cycle. And then the 2014, we're going to try to stretch it out. We're going to try to pull those. we got to separate them. Get them so separated. So we do one now and do wait a few years for the other one. They'll be three yeah. or four yeah. or five years. Yeah. Yeah. So then we'll be gentle on the other one for a while. Real easy on it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let that one sit in the garage if we want to. So, okay, we'll get this to back to Sandy Lad at Shell Boy. And we'll have a truck in line to, to yep. arrive. And so let's see. I think that was pretty much those two things. Um, what did you bring in the binder for the the yes. grants and aid that yep. I can scan and send whatever we need to do to get this? I, I took I took care of that today. Oh, okay. I was I had a meeting at the regional planning commission, so I oh, okay. I gave Dan the timesheets. This is the file, and okay. again, I apologize for my confusion about where that thing was, but especially after I found it right on my desk. Don't do that again. <laughs> it's freaking well, out fine. just a little bit, right? Yeah. What well, file? And, and I have more paperwork for you with the school roof, but I'll I'll wait and bring that into you um, Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. Other questions? You good? Yeah. Good. Let's was this discussed already? Yes. We yes. Did, we have two floors. Okay. Because, yeah, yeah, I was, they, they, yeah, planning yeah. on attending them. So, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. All righty. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Okay. So, um, Diana is not here tonight. Um, so, the no town clerk's report, um, she did just send a brief little note that, um, and I, I think you guys are aware of this already, but um, the Leahy, Sanders, and Welch, their offices kind of teamed together and sent a joint letter to FEMA encouraging them to um, get their act together. Act together. It's right. going to snow here in two weeks. Right. So, and they did send the letter. The letter has been sent to FEMA in the, the Boston office. And, so we'll see. We'll see. Yes, it's pretty, pretty. Yeah. So I guess my question is: Is there any way we can do it prior we don't. to that? No, we um, just don't own it yet. No. So we still can't. Nothing we can do until uh, we can that. Yeah. I just Larry Rossi was down last week. Ronnie was out there, and he stopped mm -hmm. in, and he was looking over at the barn. Mm -hmm. He says, "You realize that roofing is worth money." He says, "I had a contractor from Stowe." Looking for old rusty roofing. Right, they want to use it for they stuff. They want to use it for stuff up so there. Go up there and deal it off Make before it they right. tear it down. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he mm -hmm. said. Yeah, he said it's crazy. Yeah. Seems like you know when the when the demolition happens, if there are, we could do any of that if we, we wanted to. We could to. we could separate. I mean, it might. Um, I think the contract said that any of the materials. Would be no, it's on them. They probably ah, got. Okay. They probably own it all. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's fine. Well, that's fine. Yeah. That's, that's part of the. Have to get it off before we sign a contract with them. <laughs> Yeah. Do we have a contract? With we have a contract. Oh, the contract is with that one yeah. company. Yeah. <coughs> so we've already signed it. If we don't lose everything, if FEMA keeps dragging their feet. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Right. So, so that's that for. So um, let's see, on to the town highway report. Um, we talked, I, I should, probably should have taken the first item off the agenda, but we did talk about that a bit. Um, at our last meeting. Um, yeah, how we're going to, and that's for budgeting time. Yeah, anyway. yeah, we yeah. Work on that. The truck replacement, we just um, 
did that. We just did that. So um, the Burmer and the Moore attachment purchases. Um, I think we should, you know, make sure that we're that we're all okay in making these purchases. Um, the road crew, the Greg, Greg and Greg, did visit the Brandon um, uh, road crew uh, last week, um, and they had quite a bit of time to ask questions and get uh, feedback from the the road crew, especially the crew members that use that piece of equipment, and and got you know very good you know glowing reports of its effectiveness both for mowing and brush cutting. They didn't get actually. They didn't get to play with they it. They didn't let them take them out for a free ride. No, it was, free time it was out somewhere. Um, <laughs> is that the one that goes on the the loader? Crater, that goes on the loader. The loader yeah. 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 Both, actually, both of these. Both are of go these on the go on the on the cat loader. Okay. Yeah. The Burmer is made. It's not made by cat, but it's made especially for, for cat, cat to go yeah, on. It's got the cat attachment. And the same is true of this mower yeah. attachment. It's not made by cat. Um, but it is, it's made specifically to work. I would hope that if we do get it, it looks like we probably will, mm -hmm. that they keep a special sheet over there mm -hmm. so we can track their hours they use it. Mm -hmm. right, so right. We, that's the same thing that's important mm -hmm. to me because here, here's yeah. the issue I'm concerned with mm -hmm. is they've only got so much hours. Right. So we're going to need to, it, it's important to me that those items get used. Mm -hmm. You know, and the, the problems we get addressed, and then right, they yeah. use them every year to keep it addressed. So, how, mm -hmm. I guess moving forward, we'll have to work with Greg on right making yeah. sure. Because one concern I have, and maybe something we want to look at, is that we've got a chipper over there that's been sitting for right. we could get two years. I'm wondering if we shouldn't sell a thing and right. use that money to offset something else. Something you could talk to. I mean, yeah. they haven't touched it for two years. It gets used very minimally. Right. Yeah. So, so here's my theory with this: is that mm -hmm. you know when. If, you're, if you've got the road crew out chipping, for instance, mm -hmm. then they can't do, they're not doing road maintenance at the time, right? right? Or, so, or one, you know, one person could be doing... You see where I'm going with this. Right. So we're going to have the same problems with this brush cutter or the mm -hmm. burmer. Right. Um, we, we've got to make sure that hours are set have aside. they got to use them. Yeah, because, you yeah. know, he's telling me in the spring is when you can do this. That's when Alan Ladd um, the told me that, that, yeah. that tends to get used the most when the ground's still fairly soft. Because my plan is this is going to resolve our berm, mm -hmm. big berm problem, and then, mm -hmm. so I just don't want to hear after we buy this and I'm getting shot at because we spent so much money and right. sitting at the town garage sitting in the, next to yeah. the chipper. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the concern. You have, sounds yeah. like I just want to make sure. So we need to, you know, maybe set some of our part-time people time mm -hmm. aside specifically for doing mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. um, yep. But yeah, that's it. It's, we that don't, makes we sense. Have, no we rock throwing. It's just we got to make sure right. that when those items arrive, they're working them. Yeah, and, use and them. the burmer pretty much has to be used in conjunction with the grader because right. the grader is going to be dealing with what the yeah, burmer Yeah, the fellow I talked to says a lot of times you got to pull that stuff in, let it yeah. dry, and then go back and grade it. Yeah. So you know, not be able to do it that day because yeah. a lot of the time it's going to be chunky, muddy. So you got to do something with it, or else people will be driving over it. Well, then. it'll it chumps it up, but it, you, okay. what he says you don't regrade the road for a couple of days. Again, I'm going by what I was told they do it, but again, some of our roads are really behind, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there's probably going to be a learning curve. And a, yeah, there will be a learning curve. Yeah. Yeah. But a serious question was, should we look at selling that chipper? I'll ask. Greg I don't want to do the top-down thing. You need to go sell your chipper, but on the, right. chipper, no, I but think, on the other hand, no, they're makes not using sense. the chipper, and we're going to have this. Yeah. Because to and me, we if get, we need a yeah. tree-cutting crew, just hire a tree-cutting crew. Yeah. And we get to that point where, yeah, we've got a small crew, and... Maybe it is time where we started hiring sub contractors to go yeah. in and either for brush example. cut yep. or yeah yeah, or yeah yeah that's where I was headed with that little speech because yeah. you know those guys are I, I know the bunch of trees fell on my neighbor's power line they had people come in there in two hours they cleared that whole thing right but that's what they do yeah, yeah. so yeah. It's, it's something we that's that's just important to me mm -hmm. is that we don't and we used to do that years ago yeah. we kind of get out of it mm -hmm. probably along towards Harry's term when they started want to do that themselves. So well, that's when we, the per, I think the brush cutter or the, the chipper came, came along, it was break. used, it was a good deal and, and I know it was bought during, <coughs> during Harry's time. During yeah. Harry's time. And yeah. they used it initially but yeah. now it doesn't get used. Because I think these, like you said, <coughs> would be used with in conjunction with the grader mm -hmm. so that yeah. we should make sure we're assigning yeah. Appropriate time to, for both of them to do Because what it. I don't want to hear is there's berms and it's like right. we only use it two weeks a year and then that's all we got to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, yeah. We should have no berms. Yeah. And the mo you know, the mowing could be done anytime. Right, you know? yeah. Anytime it's needed. So, and Greg, there and Greg is, I mean, that's one of the things that Greg is really interested in is that 
you know, we do get calls, uh, the wild chervil that's on the side of the road, you know, could you mow that before yeah. it goes to seed? And usually yeah. by the time... Where it's already gone to seed, it's already seed. Thing there. so we're just yeah. spreading it even more. And so that's, that's what I pass on. I, I yeah. take a serious look at because if you can sell that chipper, that'll offset. Yeah, that'll be something. Yeah. There's no point yeah, having to sit and there. And if he is interested in selling it, and we can do some research, see what it's worth. Right, yeah. 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 He'd probably look up online and see what mm -hmm. they're selling for, or yeah. even post it on one of those. Mm -hmm. Sites online. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah, this cutter would do the job. What they need to do, if we need to, again, my opinion, if we need to go do some major cutting, we should just hire some. Hire some of that. Yeah. A tree cutting team to just come yeah. in. Which is what we have. You know, when there's some major tree cutting to be done, and it's kind of beyond the scope of. Yeah. Road crew. Road crew. We we have yeah. hired out. Uh, That's just my thought. Because like, yeah. looking at their hours, I'm like, well, your hours are better spent on the greater. Right. It's greater getting this stuff done. Yeah, like yeah. we're spread really thin. Get somebody on that everything. thing yeah. and buy these tools, get something that need to be out yeah. there. Yeah. Now yeah, we're looking at a what, ten thousand gallon fuel tank? Is that what we're talking about above ground or something? No. Or what was it? No. Well, we'll we'll get to that. <coughs> okay. I mean, we could talk about it right now if you want. Because that covers I'm good. So yeah. I'm, I'm in favor good? of okay. moving forward with yeah. those things okay. once we, we can do it in our budget. Yeah. Yeah. I think we can sensitive so we don't have a big jump in our taxes next yeah. year. And, and we'll get an answer to, we'll have an answer to that on Wednesday. Um, and then the thing, you know, thinking forward, do we want to spend some of that HERF money towards this just to make the overall payment um, less? Or do we want to just spread it out? It would take, you know, if it's $4,500 a year and we're spending, let's see, $67,000 for the two pieces of equipment and the interest rate, of course. Um, yeah. It'll be probably a 15-year kind of term that we would be. I'd be in favor paying. of using some of that. Uh, yeah, I would want to get that term down to like five years. Five years, okay. Well, you see, I mean, I yeah. know that's a short. So it's going to start right? breaking after. Right. Yeah. That's well, my thought. I mean, you, I guess you see what she'll do for us, but we right. got to get in that budget number. But what what I'll do is, um, I'll give her. We'll we'll kind of ask for um, five-year, ten-year yeah. um, terms. And um, and then what would the yearly payment be? Yeah, because we've yeah. got to kind of fit it into what we're paying now. Yeah. So we got twenty two six in the highway yeah. Cup reserve fund. Yeah. So you know, it may be that um, that maybe it would be more than forty five hundred dollars a year, but if it was only if it was. But that uh, might be okay. If it was a little bit more, like yeah, I just worry about the really long term. Yeah. Because we pay a ton of more interest and more in interest. Yeah. 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 The longer you go. Yeah. So if we could take some of that money and. Mm -hmm. Get it down get to that term down, down to five, term. seven, yeah. eight years. Yeah. And now yeah. it's and because uh, I do think there'll be a productivity gain. That's what I want. I'm going to make right. sure we have a productivity gain. Right. On That's it. the whole purpose of right. doing this. Yeah. So for the um, okay, so I'll I'll get terms and so we can make a you know we'll make a decision on that at the next select yeah. board meeting. What what kind of <coughs> how long. Yeah, so the numbers work out so we can, so we do have some money we can yeah. put down on it. Yeah, there's 22000 in there, we might yeah. as well. And what's it cost? 50 45 Yeah, the burr, the edger's like seventeen five, and the other one's 40 something, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. Okay. So, do you want to move on to the underground storage? Sure. Tank? Okay, um, so. There's, we still don't have quite all the answers. Um, we obviously, you know, we want to re we want to get the get it out of the ground. Um, so that's what we're we're working on. Um, in terms of the uh, um, there is a zero percent loan that we can go for. Um, and let's see, was that let's see. zero Some percent loan to remove, remove it? The to old remove thing. it. Yeah. <coughs> there's. I, so I called um, Sullivan Powers. I spoke with um, Steve Sullivan, and where are my notes on that? Um, one of the reasons I asked, I was up to the town of Stowe last week and did an estimate on one of their vehicles, and they have a 10,000 gallon above ground tank set beside the building. Right. And it's impressive. It's the double it's wall. It's big, yeah. It is massive, mm -hmm. you know catwalk and whoever the company was they buy the fuel from put it in for free yeah yeah you know, i suspect not, we'll get the tank put in for free yeah i didn't I remember how much we were looking though to put in for storage we right now we have a thousand gallon tank mm -hmm. um and uh, um 
I know whoever Gillespie Fuels has a used 2,000 gallon tank that they would be willing to sell us for um, about $1,000. A new 1,000 gallon tank would be about $2,000. Um, so we go with 2,000 for 1,000 and it's a double walled above the ground. Double walled, yep. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't need a cement pad as long as it, you have, would it need a gravel surface. Yeah. Um, but Greg is thinking, you know, that we could use the underground storage tank as the above ground storage no, tank. Because you'd have to put it in a containment area. Right, it'd have to be in like a septic tank right. kind of yeah, containment. You'd have to put it yeah. something else. And if we've got somebody that's willing to give us a tank, you know, our, our, our office the does the yet. permitting. And so as right. long as it's a double wall tank, mm -hmm. you only want to have your your fueling area dish so that if they overflow the truck right. it's, it's, it's contained down in the brook. Yeah. Yeah. But you definitely want the double wall tank. Yeah. yeah. And then and you gotta put up some bollards and things so people aren't running into the thing. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And then to remove the old tank, um let's see uh, Steve also filled me on that. I'm trying to find the notes that I wrote for that. I'm usually lose my notes. Yeah, well, I do too, obviously, as you can see right now. <laughs> I'm going to flip those lights on the left. Thank you. I know I wrote them down. <laughs> I should have been I was falling asleep here. Let's go out. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I can remember Harry, had, whoever he had talked to would give us a tank as well, but I don't remember. Right, I remember that. I remember that. Um, so, um, that's, to re that's to repair it. Okay, so that's to repair the tank. Yeah, we don't want to repair it. No, we get it off the ground. Get it over underground there. tank yeah. business. Okay, well, I can. I think I can remember it well enough because I know I wrote it down and I know I put it in this file. But so we still got time as long as we get it done. Yeah. This fall. Yes, yeah, so I would like to move forward with whatever we got to do. Whatever we got okay. to do to get that out of the ground. Get the tank out. Get the new yeah. tank in. And so. Um, with the the loan would basically pay our costs in re removing the old the old tankers. What happens is um, they have to do a, a, a site visit excavation thing for the you know to make sure that there's no contaminants or whatever. No. Um, and then can we do the digging? I think we could do the. Greg says we could do the digging. Yeah, I don't see any problem yeah. so with we, us doing that. So, so we would have to pay. We, we'd yeah. have to pay. Um, it's about. I think it, the Steve Gillespie said it was about. 1250 for someone to come and kind of oversee the digging the digging of it. So he'd stand there while they did well, it. Well, yeah. yeah, make sure there's no, no contaminants. Yeah. And then um, what happens to happen is you have to clean the inside of the tank, and that costs about um, $2,000. But you sold the tank, can you? If somebody wants to buy the tank? That's only if you're decommissioning it to yeah. get rid of it. Mm -hmm. It's a double wall tank. They're probably not going to want to buy a tank that has a failed um, Right, but we. I suppose but we could if try. somebody was going to leave it above ground, yep. you know, even in a building, you know, vented, mm -hmm. you know, there it's going to be. Okay. It's a double walled tank. I don't see why it has to be destroyed. Yeah, I can ask that question. Yeah. Um, is the one that's buried double wall? Yes, it's a single wall. Okay, but it's an underground tank. It's not an above ground tank. Right. Yeah, they're different animals. Yeah, yeah, yeah they are different. Because mm -hmm. if they were using it on a non-regulated site, somebody could yeah. do that. It has the stuff, so you can test yeah. it between them. So. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it's electronic. It's they just stick it. Yeah, it's yeah. not. A, um, there are a lot of them are electronic. A lot of right. them are electronic, yep. yeah. and that's the whole electronic thing is to help. Um, there's a whole where the cathodes are yep. always active, and it's supposed to, mm -hmm. you know, keep the tank from corroding. Yeah. So I want a double walled tank. If it's, yeah, there's nothing wrong with the inside. There could be somebody around. You said thousand gallon. Yep, that's yeah, that's what I was saying. So yeah. maybe a contractor around that would like mm -hmm. to have one in a shop or yeah. something. Yeah. They'd so give us something for it rather than paying to get rid of it. My impression of talking with Steve Gluski is that they wouldn't, they, there would be some costs involved um, in them coming to, to install a, a new tank. There would be the cost for the tank. I mean, they, the, the, their reason for that is that, um, you know, we put the fuel bit out now for bid every, Every year, so what if we agreed to give them five years of yeah. fuel business? That would be the good yeah. question to ask them okay. because I this is a pain having to go out to bid every year when you've right. got a, a solid. You, know, you can company. offset the cost if they say we'll put the yeah. tank in for nothing for five years worth of fuel. Yeah. Yeah. And what's happening with the bidding is that is that Gillespie is the only company that really handles all of our fuel needs: the propane, yeah, right. the diesel. Um, yeah. So you could always throw that out if they're willing okay. to tell them because I yeah. think that's a fair deal. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, I think they would be willing to do it then. Um, yeah. And it doesn't cost you anything. Yeah. Right. And I guess, yeah, they set it up. We, we can check with our auditors to get their blessing, I suppose. Yeah. Because yeah. sure. that just makes more sense. It does. Yeah. yeah. We tried to do a three year, you know, just to save the town the effort. Um, and then we realized that you know nobody knows what the price of fuel is going to be. Right, they're not going to go so, that far. Yeah, yeah. No, years, nobody. They don't nobody even like to go a year. Yeah. Some of the years were so volatile, they're yeah. losing their yeah. shirt, or you're paying too much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, so you get them in the right time where they can pre-buy it. Yeah. yeah, then you're. Yeah. So I'll do some more, and I've been trying to get a hold of this, um, the fellow from the state who oversees the underground storage tanks, and um, I just uh, I have spoken with him. Um, you know, he did spoken with him enough to get the information about the loan um, for um, removing the old tank. Um, mm -hmm. But I'm trying to get him to answer some of these questions too and um, he hasn't called me back. Yeah, I can we get it out and it's not showing any signs of right. holes or leaks. Why can't we just sell it to somebody? Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll ask him that if it Because they'll have to empty it. Because there's a ton of contractors around here that might want to yeah. double wall if they've yeah. got the old single walls in their yards. So we would want to get a new above ground tank or um, or they're used or they're used I mean, maybe if they're doing it for free if they right. agree to that deal put in whatever they want yeah yeah and they let them deal with the permitting yeah it's Which about the same easy. price yeah. um and it might be easier to be less delivery times it might it might actually yeah they may yeah. even kick it up as far as the amount right. of fuel in there so they don't yeah, have I'm to find the 2000 Right. Double wall, as long as it's not rusty and it's right. still yep. serviceable. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Um, and then putting them in place. Yep. And maybe they could coordinate some of that work with the road crew. Um, okay, so I'll get some more um, answers to the, those questions, um, hopefully. And uh, we, can, <laughs> we can make a decision on that. I have. Um, this fellow, Ted Uncles, does, he does now know that we are not going to repair the tank, that we're planning on yeah. replacing <coughs> it. He knows that we're actively figuring that out. So yeah. we're, we're good as far as the 30-day, um, um, the 30-day requirement was just to let them know what our, what, what we intend to do. So he knows that we're working on actively um, getting a new above-ground tank, so we don't have to worry about any any reprimand from the state about that. So that tank up there must be 40 feet long. It just, it's a, it's, it's a huge. Long <laughs> skinny thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. it's long. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's tall, it's gotta be. Yeah. It's gotta stand 12 foot high there. Yeah, yeah it's that, that's massive. the That's the one larger one that you're talking about? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's huge, yeah, they got a big one. Yeah. yeah, and then they got a door you can get inside of the tank, yeah. so it's got, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Well, those notes are probably on a piece of paper up on my table <laughs> or by the computer. I know I had them all. Oh well. Anyway, my memory worked well enough, I think. So, um, so the Buck Lake Brook Cabot Road repair. Um, there's a mandatory site visit this Wednesday morning. Um, we have four contractors that are involved. Um, Two were recommended by Shauna Clifford from VTrans, and then two others are local. Um, one is Paul Lamberti, who put in the box culvert on Nelson Pond Road for okay. us four or five years ago. The other is Gravel Construction, who um, they have come initially and looked at the site with um, Greg. Um, the other is... Um, uh, said Wednesday, right? 8 yeah, Wednesday at 8 a.m. Oh, site visit. I'd like to come to my beer. Yeah. <coughs> we'll have Shauna will be there, and the uh, Logan Perrin is the guy's there. name from. Uh, okay, where is that? UST. And you said from the site visit time, a couple of weeks to bids or something, or do we? Yeah, have the, the date. Um, I think it was. Um, so let's see. This will be August. I think it's. Mm, it's the twenty eighth. This Wednesday. Early in September that the yeah. bids have to be in. Twenty yeah. eighth of September, is, September. The, is the site visit. Yeah. How come I can't even find? The, how could I lose a whole file? <laughs> <laughs> Better than I am. A couple weeks for bids. Okay, so that's good. Yeah, so maybe we've still got a shot at getting this done this year. Yeah, yeah, we do. That's the intention is to get it done this year. We may not actually get to the paving. Um, yeah, that's a long 
Dave it's going to be Dave, hard to get Dave somebody Dave's. to come and pay. Yeah. Yeah. Unless one of these guys actually does paving. We might be able to look into the village thing <laughs> next spring. But, hey, yeah. Everybody laughs at me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah so I think that, that would be the thinking is to try to hook it into what we have yeah. happening in the village. Oh, we'll talk about that when we get to that on the left. Okay. Huh. That's weird that I don't have that. Well, anyway, that, that I can, I've got that in my head anyway. So, yeah. So, um, the fellow has written up, um, Logan Perrin uh, wrote up an RFP for this project and he also developed, he's a technician with V-Turns, he um, developed what's called a cross-section. Yeah, and I think you sent that to yeah, us. Yeah, I sent that to you guys. Yeah. Um, <coughs> two, two different plans um, and the contractors have received that so they'll, they'll have that information. Um, it's not a huge job. It's so not a huge job. Yeah. these guys yeah. can get rid of it and bust it out. Yeah, so, um, so you know they all come. Um, we'll get a, we'll get the bids back in a couple of weeks. Um, we'll make a decision, um, and um, and then we'll kind of hopefully we'll you know um, have a time frame from them. Um, maybe I, I think that might be a part of the in the RFP. It says that the work needs to be done before um, November first. So. Um, whether they'll be able to do that. Probably the late winter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like last year. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we were right up to our eyeballs in winter by the field. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It didn't, didn't go away. We so. didn't really get much of a fall. No. We went from hot to with snow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so good. So I'll be up there too as well. Yeah. So I won't. I'm going to be in a meeting. Okay. Yeah. Here all day. So the other thing um, in talking with Shauna is that um, another. And you know this it's, it's the emergency grant that we have that's going to pay for this project um, so um it should be you know we'll see what the, what the sure, bids, bids come in because yeah. but she's given us a figure yeah hundred fifty thousand right. dollars is a total for the grant there's a ten percent match from the town so technically v trans will be giving us one hundred thirty five thousand yeah. dollars and then fifteen thousand dollars is our match um, and you know if the project doesn't come to that then we can if we choose we can use the grant to reimburse for a couple of the, there were a couple of culverts that couldn't handle the water flow on county road, so there was the road washed out, so yeah. um, we could use that to reimburse the town for that. So we're not going to get the straight 150, if the bid we'll comes see. in at 135. We'll right, that yeah, if the bids come in lower, there is, we can use, we can use, we, that's our upper limit. Okay. We can use that money so to we, reimburse the town. So we can fill it in if yeah. we need to. Yeah. 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 Or so we, we could just eat the money. You know, we've already spent that money to fix the roads, and yeah. then our then our ten percent match would be less. Yeah. So that would be because we'll, sure. we'll look at the numbers and figure yeah. out which would be the best benefit to the town um, yeah. for that. Because those repairs have been done, and it's too bad that you know the April flooding. Um, we put in a fairly a new fairly expensive culvert for the culvert that basically just got washed into a wetland area. Yeah. Bigger capacity. But that was in April, not in May. So we can only use this for things that happen in <coughs> that, that May, storm. May yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah. so we should have we should have a contractor chosen and I think that um, our next slip board being the bids might be in the room. Good. Yeah. So might be back on somewhat of a schedule and get that taken care of. Yeah. Well, at least we'll have a schedule so that, that we know of, or we can assume we know of. Um, so the old quarry, and so the old quarry road. Another thing that I talked with Shauna about is that you know another part of our costs in doing this project would be to pay for uh, gravel or fla whatever. flagging. You know. Oh yeah. That, so that was part of the. Uh, bid proposal I think wasn't it? Yeah it was in there. She you know then I mentioned well we have talked about just closing the road mm -hmm. and using another road um, which is would be the old quarry road. So we could save some expense if we do that if we just set up a detour make sure that road is travelable. And I think in the end we're going to have to. Yeah, it's they're going to depend on what that cost too though. I don't know yeah. It. Right yeah yeah. Um, I drove up the old quarry road just because I had the meaning to get there. It's drivable up. And I don't I, think you had to do any work to it, do it? 
Well, it, depending on which entryway onto the cabin room you use. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. If one of them's yeah. blocked. Yeah. The the no, old it been unblocked. Yeah. <laughs> the old road is it's just a short section. Um, it is a little bit steeper getting onto the cabin <coughs> road. I mean, it definitely the the new entryway is much safer and easier. Yeah. Um, I just say leave it be. Use it. Use what's there right now. If we have to, road crew can go up in a day. Right. They could fix the other one. Cost a lot of money. Yeah. 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 They could put some gravel in and yeah. probably cut some. The trees have kind of grown in a bit. Yeah. Um, so it'd be pretty. So we do. We do have a. But like Paul said, use it. It's our road. Use it. Yeah. Keep using it. Yeah. See what happens. And making try to prove that it isn't. So yeah. That's yeah. part of that same conversation. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. we just uh, have the attorney send the letter. Mm -hmm stating our intention that that's ours. And yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. And um, we should have a better sense with the bids on just a, a time frame on how long they think that they would be working there. Um, so that will yep. give us a sense of how, you know, yep. where to close the road. Yeah, whether, whether they're going to be there be. three days. Yeah. Right. I don't know. None of us know what it's going to take them to yeah. do that. But, but they'll, they should have a pretty yeah. good ballpark. Yeah, they'll have a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. A week, you know. How much of the road they're gonna to have to cut out to right. do yeah. that, yeah. and if any, yeah, yeah, it's really hard to say if they yeah. don't have to cut the road out. Better if they didn't. Yeah, I know when um, there forever. Yeah. When the when gravel came with you know when Greg Greg called them just to have them come and take a look yeah. at it, they did say you know probably you know, we would have to cut away some of the road. Yeah. So, but we'll probably see just to cover their own butts, you know, just in case. Be, uh, yeah. Yeah. There's only four and a half. This Yep. There. There's there's three, a two and a half inch base and then it's four and a half yeah. inches yeah. Yep. two yep. inch uh, yeah and well two inch, it's uh, too bad to, you know because that's pretty new and you know if we have to cut it away and patch it you know the patch is always never, we see in Barry they just did the big dig at the whole yeah. intersection yeah. and they had to dig that thing all up because of a yeah. water main break <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> nice yeah. new paper yeah. so that that road will be definitely <clears> compromised <throat> yeah and I was hoping it'd be quite a few years before we'd have to repay that but yeah hmm. um, Okay, so we'll yeah we'll have a better sense of whether we'll be using the old quarry road as a tour. And, yeah. Uh, but I assume that we probably will. Yeah, I think there's a good, better than a good shot of it, just yeah. so they can mm -hmm. do it as quick as possible. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just hearing um, the road crew talk about trying to work on the county road, you know, the, yeah, it's just so much traffic. Yeah, that there Greenwood is. and County gets a ton of traffic. Yeah, so you know, they'll just be getting road. started and then a car shows up, so they'll. Yeah kind of quickly do what they're doing and then get out of the way yeah. and then, um, and they did close off when they had to, to basically ditch all the way across the road. We closed the road for half a day and yeah. said it was so much easier to do yeah. the work. It's got to be. Yeah. So, and yeah. people, you know, there is a lot of traffic on County Road and people just don't want to wait. Yeah. People get yeah. Anyway, so closing it would probably be the best bet. So. The village paving. The village paving. I'm going to yeah. recommend we hold. Okay. Because right. looking at time frames, everybody's just laughing at me. They can mm -hmm. yeah. re realistically need to put a November first time frame mm -hmm. on there. You're not going to mm -hmm. award till almost October. Yeah. Nobody's going to jump on it. Yeah. Would anybody want to give us a bid this year? Or they I all want to wait till spring. Yeah. Nobody yeah. wants to. I think the fluctuation in the because uh, petroleum prices. Yeah. Oh, okay. Affects so so the, the recommendation I'm making is that we. Wait, put it spring. out to bid in March. Okay, All right. That's what the that's what everyone's telling me. Get it in early, and we maybe potentially will look at doing that think, little strip of yeah. the cat of uh, Valley Lake Road yeah. potentially I think, too. I think if we do that, we would do both of those pieces. You know, I don't know. It makes sense. The yeah. time frame for those erosion things. You know, they're still. And this doesn't mutually yeah. exclusive. So if we even plan to pave that just past the annex right to the school entrance. Yeah. That still could be done. We're going to have to lower. There's going to be work that needs to be done. But yeah, yeah. They could get to that this fall, or well, I wish they would. They're, they're going to lower. They do intend to lower the road in front of the annex to try to relieve the flooding. That's that's the, you know they're, yeah. they're aware that of that. Try to have them contact me so I can be there when they okay. do that, just All so right. I can. Yeah. And Look then as far it. as... So you can say, go deeper. <laughs> yeah. Well, lower. because even looking at when I talked to Norman from the pay, from Pike, yeah. that comes off the pavement now and it comes up by the old store. So yeah. he's saying, realistically, to pave that, they're going to have to... Either that or you're going to have to bring that whole approach up to Route 14 right. and even get into... So he's, he's recommending dig that road back mm -hmm. down to the level of pavement and then go all the way through and then come... You know, so I'm not a... Right. But he says it's too high. 
Rumble's going to have to get to the point, if it keeps going this way, to jack up your building. Something. Yeah. Jack <laughs> well, if you higher, get the, yeah. But see, the good part of that is all the material that's there is reusable. You're not out any material right. that can yeah. all be just Because it was low. They're just, it's just gravel. They yeah, it's just gravel and stuff, so it all can be just stockpiled and reused somewhere. Yeah. 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 So you're, you're, but it's a whole project. You're going to have to recontour the road, dig the ditches down a little more, and get it back to where it used to be. <laughs> and that's what he even Norman said. He yeah. looked at it and he said, well, maybe pipe might be interested if that if we had actually a, has enough yeah. tonnage. I calculated the tonnage out for yeah. three. If we, and then us, if we had that little patch job on the cabin. But I, I think, you know, we're spinning our wheels, I think, sending this thing out. And yeah. this, I got to look at the, two, the 14 feet. It's too late said, now. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> you're unlikely to get a bid or you're going to be unhappy because you, you're going to get somebody that isn't qualified or doesn't really want right. to do it yeah. or yeah. tries to hammer it in. And you, know, you might get it done in November. Mm -hmm. Or if it's like last year, you're not. Right. A lot of pavement didn't get done last year because mm -hmm. of what happened. Yeah. So I think we're just better off. We're going to get a better price, and we mm -hmm. might be able to connect even the cabin road if there's mm -hmm. a spot that needs some patching. Yeah, that yeah. They yeah. try to do that all in one yeah. shot. Yeah. But the, it's written, so all i got to do is put the dates on it. And yeah, you just have yeah. to keep it in our, our memory log. It's right yeah. there in my file on my computer. Okay. Yeah. So we'll just... Remember Unfortunately, I want to get it. It's a mess, so we're probably going to have a mess out there. But uh -huh. <laughs> well, we could try to think of some kind of, you know, winter over temporary, you know, patch that would make yeah things not so. Make sure we stay mad. I'm just worried that those holes will get yeah muddy and right. nasty. But mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So try to. I would definitely try to do some kind of. Temporary patchwork yeah. before we go. Can they go buy some pavement to drop it? You can buy um, either cold mix, cold mix or, or a hot you mix. You can buy hot mix. Yeah. Is there just one or two good sized two holes? Two or three or? big holes we'd have to dig out. And I, I guess it was just temporary. We'd just have them just put it in there and roll it down right. or use a rent yeah. a plate compactor or something. Yeah. Yeah. You'd yeah. have to do it in a couple lifts, you know. Yeah. Yeah. The catch with the patching is that, you know, then when you're washing the truck, there's water that will get down. Underneath, it freezes. Edges, and, yeah. You know that's well. The, you, with the, the the dynamic in the parking lot is uh, the, the the winter time, the salt, mm -hmm. and it gets just hot, cold, and the wet. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah the so what I noticed with the holes last year is they just got they would thaw and they would just turn into mm -hmm. yeah. giant mosh. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't. Know if it's not really anybody's fault. It's just how it's, it's kind of what happens. It's just, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just the flood killed it, and then it's just kind of been needing it up. Yeah. And then Norman from Pike did look at it, he said, yeah, that pavement, all there's at least two or three shim coats, he said, that uh -huh. really all needs to come out of there. Yeah, put a nice good one on there. Yeah, yeah. Well, what, yeah what the proposal calls for two and a half inch base and then an inch and a half red yeah. coat. Yeah, that would be a good, a good solid base. That would stay. Yeah. yeah, so, you know, really, really where, and again, it's another thing the road department would have to do, can mm -hmm. their guys get it, they've got their hands full with getting yeah. the roads caught up here. Yeah. Um, and now they're going to have to switch to pulling the pavement up and doing rough grading, and then the contractors, and this is responsible for final grading. And yeah. Like I said, we've got other contractors in town, you know, Sharp is around, maybe yeah. his excavator. But again, I don't, the problem the now is getting, getting the pavement. Yeah, it's too late now. Yeah, so yeah. I think, but for the spring, yeah. we may seriously need to look at that, just because they're going to be right up to their eyeballs. They're going to be busy with their spring, stuff, spring yeah. road maintenance. Yeah. and. Yeah. Yeah, and we do wait for them. Timing would have to be so Valley <laughs> Lake Road is dry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes, we may look at subbing that out to somebody else. Could be. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of moving the pavement. Yeah. 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 Lowering Valley Lake Road. Don't want to do it that way, but I just realistically, I think that's mm -hmm. the best course of action. Yeah. yeah. yeah we don't want to keep doing it, putting band aids on it. Right. Try to fix it right. Get 20 years out of it. So yeah, so I think two. if we do this, it'll, they're doing that. That would do that whole apron all across the front and down the side. And then if we, if we decide to do, I think it makes sense to do Valley Lake Road if we can do it within our budget. Yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. yeah. Just found my notes. Let me see if there's. I put them in my folder here, not an episode. Get them to put some pavement in the bottom of that uh, ice skating rink out there so we don't have to buy plastic every year to put in there. <laughs> Make a nice little ice They use the thing. Yeah. Lots of people, people use it. People yeah. there. It's pretty popular. Yeah. Mm -hmm. School kids out there. Wait for a nice day. frozen day and we go out there and fill it up with water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was up on my roof shoveling last winter and I kept, man, a lot of people that use that skate rink over there. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. I saw you over there one day. I, once a week, I do the snow shoveling. Okay. And it seems like the more, 
The morning that I do it, it always seems to snow to me. You get a big really? snowfall, right? <laughs> In my day, it didn't snow. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, yeah, it's great that it does get. Yeah, it gets a fair amount of use. Yep. I'd like to see it double the size. Ooh, yeah, it would be nice. Yeah. yeah. Down the road sometime. So, just um, kind of backtracking because I did find the notes that I was looking for. Um, so the other two contractors are Kirk Fenoff and Son. Um, they're based up in Danville, and and then Matthews excavating a fellow named Daryl Matthews, um, and then the other two are gravel construction and Paul and Bernie. So those are the four. Well, that's good. It's a nice mix, then. Yeah. For people. So. Yeah. And the two the two over St. J Way were recommended by um, Shauna Clifford. Yeah. Um, they've done work other work and um, total capable. And yeah, and Brady did a good job for us, so yeah. we can yeah. recommend him as well. Yeah. And so yeah, I think yeah. And they're we've all got a good mix of people that can do the job. Mm -hmm. yeah. We should have a good job of somebody yeah. needing it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they were all they all knew that it needed to be done before this winter, and yeah. they were still interested. And, yeah. Um, so, And then backtracking again on the underground storage tank, um, I was pretty close to my so a new double wall tank would cost $2,800 um, and Gillespie does have a 2,000, used 2,000 gallon tank that they would be willing to sell for $1,000. Okay. So, um, now I was thinking when Harry was looking, I don't know who he was looking with, but whoever he was looking at was, would have given us the tank. Right. And then well, that's why I think if we offer these guys a, because they you know, a longer they contract, Gillespie three or five said that years of... They could mm -hmm. supply the tank, but we would have to buy. The, we would have to make a commitment of buying the fuel from them in the future. It would be how many years, or whatever. Well, that's what we can yeah. ask. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, basically, if yeah, because they've treated us right. I got no problems right. dealing with those guys, and right. if we can commit to plus, if you're a talking a few cents thing. a gallon over right. a yeah. number of years, if you say because yeah. it's just that's not you got to pay for the tank, you got to place the tank, you got to pipe mm -hmm. the tank, put a pump on it, you got to yeah. put bollards up, you got to have an electrician come wire the pump. There's yeah. a lot more costs. Yeah. So if they take all that and it's five or six, eight thousand bucks, which realistically I think it could mm -hmm. be, yeah, yeah. And we don't have to pay that. Then if you pay, we a can bit, buy from them. Potentially, five they're not years. they're not killing us on the <laughs> right. fuel now. I doubt they're yeah. going to do it. Yeah, I think yeah. they're a good company. So yeah. yeah, find out what the what they would want for mm -hmm. a term on it. Mm -hmm. and okay, all right. Again, I wrote that down. So, um, and then to remove the old tank, um, there, like I mentioned, there would have to be a site assessment and kind of an overseeing of the actual. Yes, they dig it out. Be a thousand to twelve hundred dollars. That's for the that. state to do that, or you have they, to they would they would subcontract some kind of environmental. Com they would. And they had a couple names. So Gillespie would pull the old tank out of the ground for us. We or we, we could. We're we, responsible for we, that. Yeah, okay. we could do that. Um, and and that's and easy. I think we have Greg dig it up. We hire the guy right. to come do the site, yeah. and we set it aside. Yeah, pull it out. We can yeah. then determine whether we're going to clean it. Or yeah. we may need Gillespie to. Finish pumping the fuel out, or we yeah, need to use well, all the fuel. Yeah, you have to um, you have to get the fuel out, obviously. Yeah, yeah. So whether we just try to use it up, or, or have them come and, yeah. and remove the fuel. So then, in the meantime, just don't the boys fill should it. have to should start buying that fuel out to M and M or something. Well, we either we should have to be use above, this up, the above ground storage tank in place and yeah, full. What would work good is if we can find a location to put it. Right. And have them put have it, in. it in place, filled ready to go and then remove the old tank. Yeah. So yeah. if we could do it that way, that'd be yeah. the best Because then you could just have them fuel from that tank until it's empty. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. how I would phase it. Yeah, I'd, I'd say, go ahead and put the new tank in. We'll put it somewhere mm -hmm. where yeah. it meets code yeah. and it gets permitted and then yeah. it's done yeah. and working and then just use the old tank till it's empty and then go through the Yeah. Have process. they got a spot picked out for the new Well, tank? Greg's was kind of hoping that it could go right where the That's the, the problem. Was. Yeah. Yeah. Where the old one is. The underground one is. But I suppose it could after. You know, they could put it someplace else. And then move it. And yeah, that's true. It. We do the, I'll walk up there. I'll drive over there okay. and see what I think. Okay. Because we do the permitting for that. So. Right. Yeah. It should be easy enough to get it. It's got to Just be get it down low and ten, then move ten, it over. Ten, 10 feet from the building and 10 feet from the property line. It's definitely 10 feet from the property line. And I think it probably is just barely 10 feet yeah. from the building. I'll go up look around. Yeah. yeah. And then I can talk to Greg about okay. it. Okay. Because it would just make everybody's life easier if we could get the new tank in. Right. Yeah. Then you yeah. have to deal with figuring out how you're going to get fuel. Well, yeah. it right. be a few days while well, this yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe maybe they could just put a little bit in the the above ground one for to tie them over while that one's. Yeah. We'll, well, we'll, we can figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Because they're going to put it in the same place. Yeah. They're going to have to yeah. put it someplace else. <laughs> yeah. 
for a, a week or whatever it takes yeah. to get this out of the yeah. ground. Yeah. And, and then, you know, if, if, and I'll check about whether or not we can try to sell that underground storage tank used. If, if that's not a possibility, then we just would also have have to hire just someone. Decommission it, be done yeah, with it, decommission it, yeah, which costs about $1,200. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, if it's sellable, it's. It, even if you had to give it away to somebody that was you're going to use it in your shop. Yeah, that's true if they want it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you save your probably have bucks. some rule against it. Probably. Well, that's what I'm figuring yeah. that there might be. Don't ask, don't tell rule. <laughs> well, they just know such like, no where did your old tank go? <laughs> yeah. We, were, we, we dug it up and someone stole it. Right. I'm sure we're going to have to, we're going to, have to account for it somehow. Um, and then, you know, Steve Gillespie mentioned I that. Have stories. A gravel or concrete found out. A pad underneath would be about probably a thousand dollars. And again, that might be something that yeah, it'd be nice. Probably it's probably a, a good idea. Yeah. 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 So look. What I really like is a the parking pad and the tank pad are all one pad. Yeah. You yeah. Drive up and the and it's mm -hmm. in addition in a little contained bit. So you've got it all right there. Yeah. You have if a spill, you do have a spill, it's, it's on, on the it's concrete. Contained. Yeah. Yeah. It's it all might be a little more, but it's the right way to do yeah. it. And yeah. put a really nice light over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is a there is the overhead light. Yeah, right there. So you're not standing there. Yeah, I think yeah, if we're gonna do it. We gotta do it right. Be yeah. done with it. I, mean, yeah. I know we're gonna pay a little extra for that pad, but that's the best way. Because then, if mm -hmm. we do have a major spill, it's, it's contained. Really contained it yeah. in yeah. that. If it's yeah. gravel, it's gonna yeah. soak in, yeah. and then and then, then you gotta dig it all up. Because what up. we've had is for failures is the they're not supposed to, but sometimes they lock the hose in and then walk inside and forget, and then yeah, and it doesn't always click off. Somebody yeah. does it somewhere, and you usually have a major. That 500 gallon spill, and yeah. yeah. So, um, just a brief um, any other questions about any of the stuff before the Roku? No, nope. so we're, we're no, pretty well we covered. covered it. It. Okay, so just a brief uh, uh, work report. Um, we've been pretty much focused on County Road up by Greenwood Lake, Greenwood Lake Road, um, yeah. And we found uh, those two culverts that desperately needed to be found. Yeah. So I talked to them. So that's yeah. And those have been replaced. I think so you're going to see a major difference on yeah. the county road because mm -hmm. the level of traffic that road was receiving. And then I hope he's headed up around the corner to buy the yeah. mobile homes to take that burn. I think if he fixes those areas, that's a major, yeah. major amount of. Yeah. I think they were planning on doing that today. Perfect. Um, yeah. yeah, it looks good. And those culverts, yeah. I'm sure, were miserable to replace. Mm -hmm. He couldn't even find them today. They were deeper. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And they definitely needed to be replaced. Yeah, they were yeah, narrowly. They were in rough shape. Um, those, uh, let's see, Upper County Road, um, Sand, i got to read my writing. Um, yeah, they had Tim Holland Sand. Yeah, Tim's been hauling sand pretty steady. Uh, Cranberry Meadow Road, um, Wheeler Hill Road, the school parking lot, as much as they could do. I saw that they without put the some construction. Gravel there. Yeah, they've um, <coughs> graded that, kind of gotten that ready for school. Um, they replaced pretty much all the culverts on the uh, Greenwood Lake end of County Road, um, um, and they're, today they'll be working on the sloping, you know, trying to finish it up. I think either today, tomorrow, the latest. Um, so on that, um, and so and then they'll be, you know, I know on Friday they were headed out to uh, Hydro Seed, the ditching that they yep. had done. Um, they did do some repair work on um, one of the um, ten wheelers. That the body, the tensioner for the um, uh, there's like a track that for unloading the sand. The chain, yeah. Yeah, the chain. Um, the tensioner um, was shot on one of them, so they had to uh, remove it and replace it. Um, get the part from Shallow Boy. Um, that was a rainy day project last week, um, and yeah, Monday, great thought they would be finished with County Road. Um, there's another road that I wrote down. I can't read my writing, but anyway, they he's not the only one that does that. I've read it. What the heck did I write? I think it's use your iPhone. There's a record feature in there. Okay, you can just talk to yourself. Should they tell me? And yeah, and they have brought some gravel. They've done some work up on Westwood Bay Road too. So um, I figured they must have been headed to Westwood Bay last yeah. week. I see yeah. the Couple truck loads. loaded with gravel heading yeah. towards Heidrich or one. They yep. gotta be going to West Woodbury. They, yeah, they wouldn't be hauling it that way yep. for anything. Else. I think they just hauled it up there, and somebody spread it out. And as far as that, um, 
the landowner. Um, yeah, they tore the road up badly. So up you there. actually, I've had. Well, we had a call there. there that week, yeah. that Friday. We had to go up in there and look for a guy that driven out there on the Sa uh, Sa uh, It's not Saban's Pond. It's uh, what they call that road now. The Slayton Pond. Slayton Pond Road. Yeah, yeah. So we were out there at nine road. ten o'clock at yeah. night, and you could see where they tore the town road all up, yeah. and then there's a kind of a gnarly looking thing they. Or everything, all yeah. the pieces up there. Yeah, state guy is supposed to be up this it's right across state. from that guy that has the funny house with all the junk in front. It's, of it's it. the same guy. Oh, it is okay. Yeah. And yeah. I know, I know his name, but I'm not going to say it on the camera. Yeah. He's supposed to stop at the shop, and I told he him to okay, ride right up with him. Okay, great. Or show him how to get there. Okay. But now, is that Jaron, or is it the enforcement person that Jaron contacted? Jaron. Jaron Borg. Yeah. yeah okay. it's Jaron. He yeah. said he would be there on Tuesday, so good. He's contacted yeah. you. Yeah, I got okay. a. I sent him a message. I said, if you need help finding the place, I'll either ride up okay. with you or show mm -hmm. you whatever you need and yeah so he said he'd stop in so okay so go up with him if you want so yeah. so, so yeah. as far as this uh, from here on you know depending on what's what I mean, take a look at the road when you're there just yeah. to see but kind of leaving it in the states yeah because it's definitely a mess it's, yeah um, so we're gonna have to go up there they destroyed sometime the after they, yeah mm -hmm. they just it's a mess it's yeah. just okay yeah. like the whole the rest of the place. Yeah, yeah. He, whatever they did, they didn't have any idea. I don't know if we should send anybody else up. He said he's been doing building two on the property. Yeah, there's all no kinds of permits. stuff there. Stuff I'm sure on. there are no permits and you know electrical. You know, I don't know. If yeah, who's our building guy now? Zoning is. Uh, uh, well, Bob dangerous Martin. building person. Yeah, oh, Bob so Martin. zoning Bob administrator Martin. is Bob Martin. Yeah, we should have Bob take a ride up by mm -hmm. and at least take a look and yeah. see if there's anything. That should come under mm -hmm. our purview. So. Yeah. <coughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and so one more thing I got to talk to you about. Sure. So add to send to Greg is that, mm -hmm. and I didn't know this either. Chuck was telling me that, that if you go up Foster Hill here, where Maple Road comes in, right yeah. where Doug's been doing all his wood cutting there, yeah. apparently is a DI that's completely buried with oh. sawdust there. That okay. All that water's supposed to come and run in there, and now it's running out in the road. Oh, uh, okay. He mentioned to me, he goes, you know there's a DI drain right there that's no, covered. Where is this? Right at Stiley's. Oh, okay. You know, the oh, yeah, right where he says there's a drain. Right. There is, right it's on that. It's totally buried with sawdust. You usually got a car parked over the He says he probably, yeah. should, Greg, should get over there and clean it out. That's usually okay. where you hunt. Piles his log. Right. He, says, he goes, the out. logs go there, and then they chop them up, and now there's probably three yeah. feet of sawdust over it, and yeah. it's plugged up. Mm -hmm. And that's why the water's coming down, and all that dirt's it's washing out. Because mm -hmm. I didn't yeah. know there was one there, and he says, I didn't he know there was one. He there bet there nobody else does either, but it's there. Because yeah. yeah. he and I are talking at the yeah, firehouse. I'm pretty sure I'd seen it before, but it's hidden now because it looks like it's usually a vehicle. So that's probably they want to add to their list before winter to go clean it off and maybe talk to Doug about not. Yep, I'll let Greg know. What great know about that tomorrow, yeah. Because you get these structures to deal with water and they get buried and you never, I don't know it was there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. But yeah, I'll mention that to Greg tomorrow. Um, so, um, pretty much any other questions about the town highway stuff? Have them keep grading. Yeah. yeah there. Hear how great the roads are. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Good. Um, so, Onto the school roof, um, I'm just going to talk about the school roof, uh, not the entryway. That's kind of a supervisory union um, thing, but just, I just want to review um, the uh, change orders that happened and, and um, just give a, there should be no more change orders. We should be done. <laughs> so um, they are finished up there. They were working there today. I assume that they'll be done. I they were doing some siding when I went there yeah. Saturday. Yeah. They'll be doing. Um, they should be done soon. If you know, if not today, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, and when they'll be totally out of there. Um, because of school being there. Yeah, the school is now in yeah. session. So, um, so um, there was the change order number one that we're all aware of, where we you know, we had the meeting about right. the, the sheathing. So, um, and that eventually that was seven thousand four hundred dollars um, after our you know, we came to an agreement with them. Change order. Number two was for the um, the drip edge and the and the we steel. We approved that one. Yep, which yep. we approved, and that was for three thousand seven hundred and thirty-one dollars. And then change order number three that we did approve at our last select board meeting that became incorporated into change order number four um, because they found more siding. Um, it was rotten. Yeah, and and these you know they would definitely the the foreman would check in with Larry um, and then Larry was seeing stuff too and saying well you know how about maybe this too so 
it was so kind of a back and forth between Larry and the and the. Yeah. the and this is all on the roof. The uh, well, well we're sort of siding around roof edges. And yeah. Yeah, around yeah. the roof edges. Right. There was some siding around the um, the elevator um, lobby, there. lobby okay. area. So and like you said, they're up there. It's time. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you're not going to get it done any cheaper. Any yeah, all stuff that needed a lift. So. Th yeah. That um, so change order number three, which was incorporated into change order number four, um, that the total for that um, be, is five thousand three hundred and eighty dollars, um, and uh, you know over half of that is the lift rental, five hundred dollars oh, yeah. a day, and then um, change order number five um, was for um, some skirt board replacement. Um, Around the bottom of the building, and some painting and priming of some of the the siding um, that they replaced. Again, you know, these are things that Larry requested that they do. Um, you know, they checked in with me. We talked about it. The road foreman. So it was all, you know, um, in order. You know, the time frame was to make a decision before this meeting tonight. Yeah. But that came to three thousand two hundred and five dollars. So the total. Um, for the four change orders, um, came to nineteen thousand seven hundred sixteen dollars. We didn't do too bad then. No, so the original bid was for fifty one thousand. So, um, you know, with the extra work that we asked them to do, the total came to about seventy one thousand yeah. dollars. So our little nest egg for the third year of our lease agreement with the um, new union district a smaller, is a little but smaller but it's still there yeah it's still there so yeah. got and we got yeah. some work that needed to be done right now, isn't some of yeah. the entryway gonna eat up some of that no this the entryway was through a grant okay um, through the supervisor union so it's totally outside of the towns we okay. are paying we are paying for that so what are they got a temporary door there now if you supply wood or I something i think so yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, best oh, laid wow. plans they had the wrong door had the wrong they, they had ordered the door but the the people they ordered it from sent the wrong size, so obviously it wasn't going to fit. So, wow. so, so they're they getting into the school from via the other side of the building. There, the new entryway will be um, there'll be like a double. Um, you know how you two doors you walk right. in, and yep. in the middle. So you go but down right now that's blocked off. There's some kind of I don't know what's there. Yeah, probably built a plywood door. Yeah, probably built a plywood door. Yeah, yeah. Say, yeah. But all all of the the um, safety features for the entryway, um, all of that's working it in place. It's just yeah. that the actual physical door for one of the entries is not yeah. there yet. So yeah, I don't know what they... they Pretty sad we got to be at a place like this where we've got to do this to our schools. Yep. Yeah, yes. you know, what you do is you walk in and you can go downstairs, but you can't go upstairs. Right. Unless right. They, right. But right. there's right. a door across or they can let you know. So they can buzz you to go upstairs. Yeah, you walk in the building once you met with the office and you can go back up and they can let you go up the stairs. Yeah. yeah. So or if it's a teacher, they probably can just all, all of the teachers or, who, or people who have official have cards or they have cards, so they just stick a card in and go let them in. Yeah. Now, does this affect the people using the gym at night? Is it unlocked at that time um, or something? We'll have to work that out with them. Um, yeah, I don't know the answer to that. I don't know the answer to that either. Because yeah. there's a lot of people who play pickleball yeah. upstairs yeah. and odds yeah. and ends. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to figure that one out. Um, I, th I guess what I. You really don't want everybody having cards no, no, to access that's the it. upstairs. Right. So whether that's something that they need to check in with the principal about, or I guess I'll, I'll try to find out what, who... Because that'll be starting for too long. Yeah, it will. <coughs> yeah. And are there any other town uses of the building off, you know, out of time, out of school time. We use it, they use it for the pie breakfast. Well, yeah, that would be, yeah. We that use it occasionally to vote. Yeah, voting, you yeah, yeah. sometimes, and then the uh, They probably town lock meeting. it open for something I think like I'll that. check with Don first, because um, he's the building yeah. grounds maintenance person. See how now. that's going to work. See what, what we should do about that. Extracurricular, I'm sure there's probably a lot of different people. That I think I've seen the women up there playing pickleball right. in the gym, too, in the winters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, that, that yeah. It gets a fair amount of use. So. Yeah, so what we need to figure that out. Yeah, it's good, good yeah. thought. I hadn't, hadn't even crossed my mind to that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, so, yeah. so um, I'll, I'll be um, giving these change. Brandy has a file on all this work, so I'm gonna, I'll be giving her these change orders. Um, and we'll, so we'll have a record of it, and they should be done in the next few days. And, and no more change orders. 
because <laughs> they left, so we're good. Right. But yeah. on the upside, I mean, a lot of that's work that needed doing. I mean, you're yeah. going to have to do it eventually. Yeah. So it's it would have been another. Yeah. We would have had to have hired somebody to come back, and they would have needed to replace siding, and they would have had to get rid of the lift. So you're so just not going to get it done cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely time to do it. Yeah, good for them. They're there. Make a little extra money on it. Yep. Yep. So um, this uh, last item on our agenda, the Town Plan Development Grant um, with the Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission. Um, you know, I, I am on the Planning Commission and the work just isn't getting done. Um, we're, um, I see that they sent out something from the state asking if you wanted to get a grant to yeah, so hire those guys. Yeah. You know, with my work as the, the town rep for the um, Regional Planning Commission Board of Commissioners, um, I've been talking with uh, Bonnie Wanniger, uh, who's the director of the Regional Planning Commission, um, about our town plan woes. And she mentioned to me um, a while ago that there is a grant that towns can apply for um, to, it would basically pay someone to help the town put together a town plan. Um, and um, so you would apply you apply for the grant and then you would have like 18 months to, to, uh, to have it, get it done. Um, so Skip and I met with um, Claire Rock, who is one of the senior planners at the Regional Planning Commission, um, to go over the application um, and just ask her questions and she you know, informed us about the process. Um, and we felt in, in meeting with her, um, and Skip is on the Planning Commission yeah. too, um, so that we would, rather than put it out to bid, um, we would just go with them being the people that would do the work for us. It's, a, the, it's a pretty good system for them because it they, is. No, this is this yeah. is it. I mean, they're, so they, they would, know it. It's work. It's guaranteed it's work. Daunting. For them. It's guaranteed work for them. They get yeah. reimbursed for it. Yeah. You know, because they're giving us the money to. Yeah, it's a, it's a yeah. it's a, a ninety ten yeah. uh, matching grant. So and yeah. um, Claire figures that it would cost the regional planning commission about eight thousand dollars to do the work. Um, yeah. and, and be then right. <laughs> and then it would be an eight hundred dollar um, town match. Town match, and we could spread it over two fiscal years. So okay. it's pretty easy that way. Yeah. And then okay. the the other and part it has to be done, right? It, we, well, we're way overdue. We're way we're, overdue. Okay. The last so, approved plan was 2003. So, okay, so that's a no-brainer. Yeah. It's a no-brainer. Yeah. I mean, it would be of benefit to the town. Um, when you're applying for other grants. For other right. grants. It's, it's, it's always a catch. Yeah, yeah. A catch. and every other town. I think there's one other town that doesn't, at, at this moment in, in our central Vermont region, that doesn't have an approved town plan. Yeah. Um, it, yeah, it would be a benefit. Um, I know we sat down and worked on that a couple nights, but we just didn't finish it we off. We did, yeah. yeah. I mean, we came we came really close, and, th and this would be, you know, the alternative. Um, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself now, because we'll, we'll, I would hope that we would receive the grant. But if we don't get the grant, we've come very close to getting a grant that would be uh, legally done enough to be approved. Um, you know, though the current uh, group, planning commission group, just felt like we're working on something that's really kind of old and outdated, and it just feels like we're, you know, putting band-aids on a on a dead horse or something. Got it. And, and okay. So, um, so this, if we get the grant, we'll basically start from the beginning. You know, and the town are the planning commission's responsibility would be uh, doing the oversight of getting town participation and input um, mm -hmm. for the information for the plan. They, they must have a lot of data down there. They, they know yeah. how it needs to get put together. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. they've got a the format yeah. Yeah. all I mean, set out. So what they, what they yeah. do. So it will make yeah. it go. Yeah, and we can they have want to do it. parts of it. You know, <laughs> we talked a little bit about We've done them before. They're a real pain. Yeah, they are. They're a lot of work. They're a lot yeah. of work. Yeah, and, you know, I've never done it. I mean, I kind of look sit down to figure out, oh, you know, I know yeah. what's supposed to be in there. <laughs> yeah, the last one that we did, we come down a couple weekends and put it together and they approved it, but yeah. they've gotten a lot tougher yeah. since yeah. then. Yeah, and there's yeah. a lot a lot more things that are required, a lot more things required by state yeah. statute. Um, so, so that's kind of the plan. Um, the, the grant <coughs> application is due uh, 
the end of September, so there's a time, you know, um, there are two, um, we have to submit and actually, um, here I go again, um, Skip had, it was on the table here when I came in, so he had done this this afternoon. Um, it's got little yellow tags on it, so it should be easy to find on the stack. It was here on the table. Um, so um, we have to, the Planning Commission and the Select Board need to um, sign a you know, this kind of commitment um, for this. We had planned, Skip and I, when we parted ways this morning, or this noon, um, down with Pillar, we were going to have a special a planning commission meeting next Thursday to go over this and um, approve it, and um, and then we will we're going to present it to the select board at the next select board meeting. Um, yeah, a resolution form basically. Um, so it looks like I mean if so this would um, this is for the select board to sign um, if. If you would prefer that the Planning Commission, um, although it looks like Skip has got it set up um, so that I, as the Chair of the Planning Commission, could sign it tonight also. Um, but I I guess it's just a matter of how do we want to proceed on this. Um, do you, would the Select Board prefer that the Planning Commission review this first and approve? When is the next meeting? Our next meeting is September 9th. So we would have plenty of time. Um, it would just mean that the planning commission would have to hold a special meeting, yeah, so I, I knew which is not a, which is not a big deal. Plan, okay, we could do that. I, um, or so we yeah, whatever makes it easier for you guys. I think it yeah. needs to be done. So okay, yeah, the sooner we get it done. Well, I, and I know Skip better. and I were in agreement, and I'm pretty sure well, let's it's just move to move forward with the okay. Agreement. All right, yeah. so. Um, so I tell you, what I will do is check in with the two other planning commission members um, by phone. So I will, will not sign the part for the planning commission as a chair because I want to be able to, uh, you know, speak with the other two planning commission okay, members. Sure, sure. Yeah. But we're in favor of it. Yeah. We're, we're in favor yeah. of it. Okay. So. Um, do you need our signatures on anywhere? Or are you yeah, we do. Good? All three mm -hmm. of us. So. Um, Alternate authorizing official for redundancy, Brian Shatney, support member, um, Thomas Lindsay as the auditor, um, and then all three of us um, as a legislative body. So um, I guess I'm just an alternate authorizing official. Um, or I'm the authorizing official, you're the alternate, and Skip would also be the alternate as as an auditor, and then the three of us need to sign it as select board members. Okay. So, um, so I would make a motion that we assign that we sign the resolution form um, to apply to, for the application um, for the municipal planning grant application. Um, Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So let's let's sign here. I saw you pen out. Oh, yeah, I got, got the wrong <laughs> Not pen. the red. No. <laughs> the blue. You don't want red on the paper. That knows nope. you got problems with the paper. <laughs> so, okay. blue. And then, Brian, you could sign it in both places as the alternate okay. authorizing agent. And, um, and we'll get Skip, Skip can. And I can sign it up for the planning commission part. So when we meet next, we're going to try to meet next Thursday. So do I sign it here? There's no um, place for signature. Yeah, it does. So it's maybe it just designates that you that, that you're an alternate. alternate. Yeah. Who is the either the chief executive officer as defined by blah 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 or select board member. Or town manager, city manager, town administrators hereby designated to serve. Okay, so it's just officially that your name is there. You don't need to okay. sign it, I guess. Um, I haven't. This was on the table when I get here, so I haven't really even read it yet. But. And there's a particular um, a government entity. I think it's federal that um, that we have to sign in on to do any of the the application and. Yeah. Uh, and Skip did that for the local hazard mitigation 
plan um, through a different um, sign-in agency, so he was familiar with the routine and yeah. asked me, if, would you like me to do this? And I said, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He does so, like his paperwork. <laughs> so, so we'll um, we'll discuss this as a planning commission, um, and once I get approval from the other two, um, we'll either meet on Thursday of next week to do this as a group in a meeting, or um, if I get approval from the other two um, over the phone, um, probably if we can meet, that's the preferred because yeah. then we can warn the meeting and um, make yep. it. It'll all be totally um, above board, um, and and then we'll, we'll get the grant. Yeah, we'll um, do the application, um, and they'll uh, Claire will help us in filling that out. Um, yeah, we'll maybe the next time process. around, if the state doesn't change everything, that we will have to do our own the next time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's not going to happen. No, they'll change it. Just so yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's people whose job is that. That's their job. Yeah. Yeah. So, wow, I don't believe it. We got through the pile. It's, we got through the pile eight and it's 8 p.m. Yeah, 8 o'clock. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All right. Wow.